individual for us. These are daily drills that are going to translate directly to Friday night. First thing you need to ask yourself is, where does this show up in a game? You know, um, and so for us, we want to prioritize each position. What do they do? So we, we kind of go with our rule of three. Put something on YouTube about this the other day. Basically, we're looking at what three main skills does that player need inside of our offense to be successful? Okay, what does he need to do? So I'm going to use our Bs because they're versatile. Our wings are very versatile in our offense. Our quick tackles are very versatile in our offense. They need to have the most. So I picked the B to kind of roll through to give you kind of an idea. Individual, though, we don't want mindless reps, but we do want a lot of reps. We do want a lot of reps because that's you've got to move. You know, you've got to move because you, you're limited on time. And then a coach, I put here, should never be done with individual drills. You, you want to make sure that you get on my bad side. Let me look down there and see you get done early with individuals. Okay, because that's, to me, that is your time to install and to really harp the fundamentals. I don't want you doing it in team. That's my time. Now we're working situational football. Now we're working stuff like that. You better get the fundamentals in there because I got to stop practice and team. The kid's going to get it, okay? And then probably the coach is going to get it after we get off the field because that should never happen. You should be getting that stuff in individual. Put on the bottom there, build a drill book. We're working on this. We were right in the middle of it when all this stuff happened, and so we're not done, but we're working on building our own digital drill book. So what that is, we're going to walk through each position. What skills do they need? Okay. And this can adjust, obviously. And then not only that, but which skill is the most important? What's the second most important? What's the third most important? And then we're going to come up with drills that fit that skill. Okay? Because I want to prioritize not just what drills they need, but which one's the most important needs the most time. Second most needs the second most time. After you get past the third, we're really not going to get a lot of that stuff uh, just because I want to make sure we're really good on one and two and three. Okay. And then we come up with our drills that fit it. So I used our wing back on here as kind of an example. So if you were judging what does he need the most, our staff, we would say he's got to be able to block. You've got to be able to block. Okay. Because most of these kids are, are converted athletes. They're, they're naturally going to be good at the other stuff. Blocking is something we got to teach them. So we would say they got to block inside of blocking. What are the main blocks they're going to do? Well, they better be able to down block. They better be able to block in space. And then double teams is probably that third blocking drill. We'll hit, but not a ton. They don't do it very much. But they got to down block, and they got to block in space. All right, they need ball drills. They need to have ball security and good vision. Okay, so they got to have those two things because they're going to run the ball in our offense. All right. They better be able to catch the ball as the third skill. So if we don't get to catching, and what's funny is the two practice plans I showed you guys had a bunch of catching, but that's not, you know, that's not normal, okay? They need to be able to catch the ball, and in catching, what routes are they going to catch? Well, if in our offense, they're going to catch a bunch of shoots and bubble screens and fast screens. They're going to catch the peak route, a real quick little inside route. And then if we have time, we'll throw them some deeper routes because depending on the kid, they will catch that, just not very often. So we're prioritizing all these skills, right? And then we're going to put them into, all right, how does this now look when I build my practice schedule? So I build my practice schedule. All right, let's say we have, I don't know, say we have 50 minutes. I think I did this one off of 40 minutes. I did this one off of 40 minutes an individual. So if I have 40 minutes of individual that week, here's how we're going to prioritize it. 25 minutes of that, 40 minutes is going to be on blocking. All right, and inside of the blocking, I've even broken it down from there. Where my, my, it looks like my math is off there. I got 30, but you can see the idea here. We're going to down block for most of that time, okay? Most of our time with our B is going to be down blocking during his individual time. Blocking in space, we're going to hit that in individual, and you see over there on the right in our pod time. Because for him to block second level players is probably where we're, we're running our belly play or we're running like a sweep or running like a screen. He's going to get that a lot in at pods because more than likely his position coach is not going to be great at that because that's usually for us. Our B's, Y's, and linemen are all top coached by a line coach. So he's not going to be great at teaching this kid. It's blocking in space. Let's send him over to the receiver coach to get some of that work. All right. 
double teams. We're not going to get much with that, and we're only going to get it in pod. We're not getting it in any individual time because he's never going to – I mean, you have to double as a pod, and the only guy he'll ever double with would be our tight end. So that's the only time he's going to get double team. All right, so ball drills. Ball drills. He's going to get 10 minutes in individual, working ball security, okay, and he's going to get 10 minutes in pod. And most of the time, that pod is going to include our running back coach, who's much more qualified to teach him than probably our line coach, all right? So he's going to be working vision and cuts. He's going to be working ball security. He's going to work catching. So we've got to catch the ball. We're only going to get five minutes in individual. Again, remember his coach is probably a converted O-lineman for us, so probably not going to get a lot there. So we're going to do that in pod work with our receiver coach who's paid to, you know, teach kids how to catch. So we're going to work these routes in this order in this time. Okay, and So that's what I got on the bottom there. Use your pod time to make sure your coaches that are comfortable in teaching a skill can teach that to a kid. But that's roughly – how we build our practice with our wing from the from the top down and then we're that's how